What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Whole Views, and today I get to talk to everybody about A Quiet Place Part 2. Man, that thing was impressive. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, because we gotta, like, unpack this thing at least two times. So there will be a non spoiler discussion coming. Make sure you subscribe so you can get that. Before talking about the movie, I've shouted out another guy before on my channel. Uh, his channel is called, I believe, The Cinematic Universe. I followed a guy on Twitter, me and him through exchange. He told me he saw A Quiet Place Part 2 the weekend before it was set to come out in 2020, but could not talk about it because of, you know, reasons, special screening reasons. And I'll say this, I don't know if I could have did that. I think, you know, the movie industry knows who to give these screenings to because like, I think I would have let the cat out of the bag and I would have spilled the beans to somebody uh, after seeing something that was so good, I would have I would have did something probably to get myself in trouble. But shout out to my boy, man, for like watching it and keeping his mouth closed for over a year, bro. Anyway, I don't know how he came down on the movie, but I know for me, I feel like this movie is just as good as the original. The original being a perfect ten, in my opinion. This one here being nine, nine and a half out of ten. Just because something about it didn't quite hit me the same as it did in the first. And I don't know if that's seeing it being reproduced. I can remember watching the first one and my wife and I saw it together and thought like, man, this is perfect. I hope they don't come back to it and try to like milk it for money. If you ever had that thought about this franchise that it possibly could be getting strung out and milked for money, trust and believe this sequel, I don't know about a, a possible third or anything else coming out of the line, but this sequel was a straight extension of the story. The story did not end with the first one. It just was extended in this movie and it was a perfect extension. It gave you just enough backstory to, you know, answer some questions that we wanted coming out of the first one and then pick right back up where we left off and give you the moments that followed uh, A Quiet Place, the first one. Truly, when you talk about the, techni the technical stuff in the movie, there's nothing to complain about. Acting was great, directing choices were great, sound design, huge here, very good. Um, there were even some consistencies that people complained about in the first one that remained consistent in the second. And I very, very, very much enjoyed seeing that one thing stay consistent. Now, there is a point of contention between me and my boy Yogi. We saw it together. Uh, there is a point of contention that he's probably going to complain about. And to a certain extent, I respect um, his nitpicking in, in this instance. I think he has a valid point. Is the only point in the movie that you kind of feel like is, uh, what's the word? Uh, kind of suspension of, of belief. Like I can no longer follow you here. Like I know you want me to just go with you and believe in the monster and believe in this and believe in that. But there's one part that's like, ah, it is a little hard to believe that that one thing can be so consistent throughout. And trust me, when I get him in to uh, have the discussion, he's going to bring it up and he's going to mention it. That is probably going to be his biggest negative. For me, it wasn't a huge negative, but it was something that I was like, I kind of see what you mean. I, I get it. Like it's, it's amazing that this thing is doing what it's doing. But besides that one negative thing, I can't think of many other things that were negative throughout the film. And again, I'm being vague when I talk about it. Please stick around and come back around for the spoiler discussion so we can, you know, let all the things fly. But that's my initial thoughts. Nine out of 10, very good movie. Uh, it'll keep you tense from start to the, to the ending of it. It does not drop the ball. It carries forward the spirit of the original film wonderfully and, and you know, just tells, extends that story from the first one into the second one. It would probably be an awesome double feature, uh, especially if you got surround sound at home and you can hook it up. Like, it'd be a hell of a watching experience to watch this whole thing play out. And who knows, we might actually get more uh, based on the way this one ended. So I wouldn't be against it if they can continue to keep that story focused on the family and focused on the things that it, it extended and brought into play here. So again, I'm happy and I wouldn't mind more. Very good film. Enjoy yourself. Guard your heart. Come back and check out more videos with me.